How's it going everybody? This is Baz from Stoic Gaming and today we're going to do an add-on spotlight for ESO. Uh, the add-on that we're going to be looking at today is called... Hold on, let me, let me bring it up. Wicked's Framework right here. Alright, so let me go ahead and bring up some information about Wicked's Framework. Uh, it's created by Wicked. You can find this on ESOUI.com. Uh, highly recommend that you use the minion installer so you can keep your add-ons updated. We'll we'll do another video about that sooner or later. But we can train works what we're spotlighting today, and uh, it's an add-on package, as it says on the website, that provides bundled streamlined functionality designed to support the development of other add-ons. In addition, Wicked's framework offers many nice features of its own, which will make it a worthwhile for all players to have installed. I myself. I dabble with uh, add-on creation, but not enough to actually call myself a developer. But uh, there's a lot of features that are in this that are beneficial to the common player that's not making an add-on. So let's go ahead and dive on in, shall we? So right off the bat, you'll notice here, let me turn off all my other add-ons. And uh, that way you're not getting confused on what's what. So here we go. This is my orc, Bayless. But uh, you'll see right here at the top of the screen, we have what, if you play WoW or any other any other MMO, you'll know that there's always these toolbar add-ons in WoW. It was called Titan Bar, and later it was Data Broker. Um, so it's got a lot of stuff. This is, uh, as far as the add-ons concerned, this is Bazgrim's Toolbar. So let's go ahead and uh, take a look. To get to the settings, you just hit Escape, go to Settings here, and uh, it adds Wicked Settings right here. Bazgrim's toolbar right here. We can enable it on and off. Tool alignment, you can pick where it's going to be located. Uh, lock horizontal horizontal center. So no matter where you drag it, it'll always lock itself to the center. Whether you want to put it at the bottom, whether you want to put it at the top, it doesn't matter. But it will lock itself to the center, which is awesome. Uh, bump compass down. Always recommend this is on because if you don't, the compass won't cover it up, but the the text of when you look at something. Hold on, let's see if I can find something. There we go. See how it says Daggerfall? That text will cover up the bar, or vice versa. So uh, always have that bump down. Uh, enable background on and off. It just changes the background. Enable scrolling XP. So when you get into a fight, I'll show you in a minute, it, uh, the XP and stuff will scroll up to sides on what you're doing. You can show a clock if you want. I am gaming on a uh, multi-monitor system, so I don't need the clock. I can see the clock on Windows just fine. But uh, if you want to keep an eye on the time, you can enable a clock right there. And you got some clock settings. Show frames per second. As you can see, I'm doing 32 frames a second. I'm running a 4770K at 4.3 gigahertz with 16, or excuse me, 12 gigs of RAM at 1600 megahertz. No idea why, with a GTX 780. No idea why I'm only getting 32 frames. Uh, we're gonna say it's because it's new. Who knows? <laughs> Seems to play smooth enough though, so I'm not too worried about it. Uh, moderate FPS, or maybe that's wrong. I don't know. I, I'm assuming it's right. Uh, show zone. You can turn that on and off too. Uh, you can show all the information about you. My name's Bayless. I'm an orc. Uh, I know who I am, so I keep all that stuff turned off. Show, show my level. You can leave that turned on or off. Show XP bar. You can actually have an XP bar built right into your thing up there. Here's another add-on that shows that. We'll, we'll talk about that in another video. Show XP Valor. Show Horse Feeder. So if your horse needs to be fed, as mine does right here, you can actually show uh, show when your horse needs to be fed or how much time you have left on the, the food you've bought your horse. Uh, you've got bag space how much how many bag slots are used how many have uh, how many slots you have total uh, we got soul gems you can turn that on see information about how many you have empty how many you have full all that kind of good stuff show gold right there i have 1055 gold and show alliance points this comes from pvp so you can see how many points you actually have now you can turn just little stuff like commas on and off. Some people like commas, some people don't. It's a good little, good little thing. Uh, Bazgrim subtitles. It's got the ability to turn subtitles in the game on and off or move them around or whatever. 
scale them, all that kind of good stuff. So let's scroll back up to the top. Multi-screen support. I do have multi-screens. I don't like gaming on multiple screens, but uh, it does have multi-screen support so that you can move stuff around so that it stretches it out properly across th two or three screens depending on how many you got. You can target which screen everything's going to be on. So, And then framework settings, enable auto sheath. I, I turn this on and off. I'm not exactly sure when it turns, when it auto sheaths. I would assume after combat, but I haven't really paid attention, so I'm not really sure. And medical range, uh, reticle range finder. Again, this is another one that I haven't really noticed. Like if I look at this person, I would assume it's supposed to tell me how far I am. They, these are probably developer options, I'm assuming. And as I said, I am not a developer. Uh, enable gold notifications, scroll gold notifications. So yeah, wicked settings, wicked framework. I highly recommend this. If nothing else, just for Baskrim's bar up there. And uh, yeah, uh, let's go here. How far are we from outside? I will go outside and I'll fight something so you can see the scrolling text. We'll kill the first thing we see. Hopefully it's not a critter. But they did an excellent job of uh, readjusting the compass down. That was one of the big problems I had with a different add-on I used was it was bothering me that the text kept covering up the compass. And with that one little click, it, it made everything nice and clean looking on your screen. Alright, so we are looking for something to kill right now. There we go. We got ourselves a wolf. You're gonna die, wolf. There we go, 4 XP. See, scrolling XP, I just gained 4 experience. So, that is Wicked's framework. As I said, you can get it at esoui.com. And uh, if, if you enjoy the, the add-on, go ahead in the forums there and, and give him a thumbs up, tell him you like what he's doing, and encourage him to keep making more awesome add-ons. He's got a couple other ones I'll probably highlight in future videos. But for now, that is uh, Bash from Stoic Gaming. And guys, keep doing what you do. I'll see you when I see you.